So this week I'm taking a different approach. I'm actually going to be covering applications or software that will make you a little bit more productive and just make your life just that little bit easier. Let's begin. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now first and foremost, these applications are for Windows and Windows only. I do apologise if you're sitting there on a Macintosh. I'll sort of apologise. <laughs> I'm not a big Macintosh user, I never have been. I do have a build of Linux sitting on another machine. But at the end of the day, I'm a Windows user. I've been using it back in the DOS days, even when you had to type in Win to load Windows up. So these applications, I'm going to do a couple of videos over the next week and hopefully they will make your life just that little bit easier. So the first one that I'm going to recommend is Files version 2 and it essentially replaces your file explorer inside of Windows and it's much more attractive, it's much more intuitive and it just it's just easier to use to be honest. Now this is available for free, I'll leave the link in the description down below. You can download this from the Microsoft Store what I recommend you do is, you actually grab it from GitHub. And the reason I suggest this is it actually lets you enable the experimental features. And this means you can actually replace your default file browser with files. Now with files, you're probably thinking, why do I need another file browser? And the reason for this is, it lets you have tabs up the top. And that is pretty much the main reason. It means you can quickly jump between folders nice and quickly. Another advantage of using files is it actually has a browser on the right hand side so for example if you select on a video you can quickly play it which essentially speeds you up when you're browsing files. Now of course the big selling point is having different tabs means you can copy and paste between different working folders but it goes a little bit deeper than that to be honest. So for example if I right click on a file the context menus generally stay the same but there is a few different things that we can do so for example we can create a folder with a selection so that will generate a folder and I'll put the selection into the folder nice little tool to be honest but you can easily customize files and what do I mean by this well for example we can change the way the widgets look so we can switch the widgets on and off so we can actually start to streamline how we're working another advantage of files is we can actually customize the way it looks so if we go into the settings here we can change things like the appearance I'm using the dark theme because I'm moody at times <laughs> but we can easily manipulate it, we can change it, we can actually make it work for us so I recommend files do you want to replace the file explorer indefinitely? I'm not entirely sure to be honest I think having it just as an icon and quickly using it that way you get into the habit now another tool that I recommend is called everything this is from void tools it basically is the best search tool that you will get for Windows or one of the best tools and it will find absolutely everything so for example if you type in .text it will find every single text file that sits on your system and all you need to do is open it up and it will actually search for absolutely everything it's fantastic you can create bookmarks you can actually reference stuff it does page indexing as well it's probably one of the best tools for searching for files inside of Windows now one thing that you may have noticed, when I right click there I have a whole bunch of my own tools. Now I actually use two separate applications for this, I use right click context menu editor and I use another context menu. Now the reason I do this is because one lets you do files and you can actually build separators, you can build your own right click menu and it just means you don't need to have icons sitting on your desktop, you kind of keep your workflow a little bit streamlined, so for example I go Blender and then go Affinity Photo, and then go Resolve to doing videos, OBS, this kind of stuff. And down here I have kind of things that I personally use, so for tools, it'll actually take me into my tools folder. Another thing that I might recommend tomorrow, but I'll keep this one under my hat. And that is pretty much three basic tools just to get you warmed up for the next video. Now another thing that I must mention about files is it actually gives you ongoing tasks. So if you move things about and then you forget, you can actually look at this list and remind yourself. Now you might notice this desktop in the background, this is called Rain Meter and it just makes life just a little bit easier. To be honest, I don't know if I'll recommend it. But anyway, do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.